What's up, YouTube? Welcome back. We got hey. Rush again. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, it's a progressive rock group, if you didn't know. We have done them on the channel. And it's funny that you mentioned yes, mm -hmm. because Mark, who requested this. Yes. Again. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, she's a very big fan of Yes, as you can tell. Um, Mark had mentioned Yes and Pink Floyd mm -hmm. related to A Rush and yeah. this song. And he was saying that this song is something that cannot be contested from Pink Floyd and or Yes. yes. <laughs> but he's big fans of both of those groups. Now, you may agree with Mark, you may not, but you probably like Rush if you're here. Yeah, and I'm interested to see this one because apparently it has like futuristic vibes, like what we could expect 100 yeah. years from now. I was pretty confused by this name. You guys had mentioned this track a few times in the comments when we've done Rush videos before. We've done a few of them now. Um, we're not experts but on Rush by any means, no. but we didn't know anything about them when we started the channel, and now we know a little bit more. Kind of cool because they're Canadian, right? That's, that's and we right. had no idea about that. <laughs> yeah, and so on some of those videos, you guys had mentioned 2112. And... Uh, to get this out of the way off the bat, I'm probably going to say this wrong a lot. I don't know if it's 2,112. 2,112. <laughs> How you say this? 2,112. <laughs> exactly. Well, that's what I was saying. 2,112. I was like, what is this 2,112 yeah. thing? Right? I had no idea what it meant. And then Mark had informed us that it is the time, the year of 2,112. So I'm glad we know that going into this now and we're not yeah. completely oblivious to what the song title means. And... Um, we have been blown away by the musicianship in Rush. Yes. Three-piece band that is outstanding. Yeah, they crush it. And, and the drumming specifically has blown my mind. Yeah, I mean, even, you know, we did uh, Getty Lee in that, mm -hmm. um, the live performance. Just ripping up. Yeah, and he was just ripping the, uh, the bass riff on yeah. that, and that was outstanding. So they're clearly um, top tier, and we've yep. come to know that from the videos that we've done thus far. But now we're getting into this 20-minute song. Yeah. Which we have not experienced. I don't. I think this More might be. Like the, a I think it's a twenty-minute album side, right? Yeah. Well, it's, it's one song. side of the album. But, yeah. And I don't think we've done a song as long as this. I mean, we did one. Actually, funny that we said yes because the one yes song that we did was really long. What was it? Close to the edge. I think yeah. that one was pretty long as well. Yeah. That's but I don't know fair. if it was longer than this one. No, I don't I think it remember. was. I think it was like seventeen or eighteen minutes. Yeah. So, anyways, with that hmm. said, we should probably get it going. Yeah. Let's you ready? It. I'm ready. Are you excited for some more rush? I am. Like I said, I want to see how this like. I think it's cool going into this knowing, like you said, the few that it's talking about the year because you can now have a context to what to look for kind of in the song for a vibe opposed to just being yeah. like, what does all this mean? And I think, correct me if I'm wrong, Neil Peart is the lyricist for Rush. So mm -hmm. I think he may have wrote the lyrics related to this 2112 thing. Mm -hmm. I also believe he does have an inclination to write about scientific, scientific, science Five. fiction Bye-bye. So anyways, let's stop talking. Let's get into some Rush. You ready? I'm ready. If you're ready, let's go. Definitely sounds like futuristic. It's the pentagram. You know, it's for voodoo or something. <laughs> <laughs> Black magic. Well, we're right into space already. It sounds like the aliens are coming. Get 
getting in already. Hold on there, bud. Okay, so quickly, it won't pause too much because it's longer, or yeah. it won't take too long in this pause, I should say. Um, first off, you know, I noticed Neil immediately crushing it. I'm just picturing him now in this, like, giant drum set. And he's just like, <laughs> You know, after seeing the video of him yeah, doing like, his solo. his face on, yeah. And him having so much of a drum kit. Yeah. And that's what it sounds like to me when he's playing this. He just seems like, like he's playing in so many different spots. And we know he can. Mm -hmm. And he probably is doing that. Yeah. And that's what it feels like to me when I'm listening. But he's just, you know, he, he definitely, now that we know him a little bit more, is so unique and, and so skilled at what he does. Um, and now I, I can kind of picture and resonate with it more that I've gotten accustomed to mm -hmm. rush. And uh, so that's cool. And transitions really, really seamless. That's also what I'm noticing, you know, the musicianship is just wild, especially, you know, it's only three people doing this stuff is yeah. it just blows my mind. Um, I feel like all the way through this, they're going to be throwing a whole bunch of time signatures at us. Yeah. Which will it changed make it, a lot even in that first four minutes. Yeah. Which will make it, you know, less of a groove, more of an experience. I did feel like certain portions of there, we were kind of going through space, you know, when they were turning up on the electric guitar and, and, um, utilizing the layering. I also could hear some layering in the mix with, with the electric guitar, you know, some of it's like back here in my ear, some of it's more in the forefront and then yeah, same I noticed with the drums. That too, so, and I felt anyways, like, I was, was going to say, I noticed that too. That's one thing that stood out to me in the first couple minutes is the spacing mm -hmm. of the guitar. It almost reminded me like, cause of this whole space theme, right? Like, or his futuristic theme. It was almost like you're traveling and you're like leaving part of it behind you. Like, you know, as you move away from something, it comes mm. more in the distance yeah. and then there's something more like in front of you. Yeah. That's kind of like the vibe that I got. Yeah, with I would that. agree. I, I feel like we were moving. Yeah. Which right. is cool. Um, and it's then cool that, that they can do that with music. <laughs> right. And then the more recently that like kind of like heavier riff of what they were doing, like made me almost feel like you're like picking up steam and like an adventure. Yes. 
And I was like, this is cool. And even uh, we'll get started again, but even from the progressive sound, this, you know, we've done some progressive stuff and I feel like this is the like hardest rock progressive sound that we've gotten Mm -hmm. into in terms of a song. Yeah, I would agree with that. You know, as uh, some of the other progressive stuff, whether it's the Moody Blues or Yes or Pink Floyd, it's felt a little lighter. Yeah, more like the mellow vibe. Yeah, this feels a little heavier, which maybe we'll get some idea as to why with some of these lyrics that are about to pop up on the screen. Yeah, cool. Feels like we're in sections. Yeah. That was similar to the close the close to the edge song that we had sections. Yeah, it's crazy how it just completely died off there, and it's almost like something new has started. You should be out in space. You're an alien. I'm going to have to make this my white noise for going to sleep. This part's so relaxing. This is feeling much calmer. I need to relax a little bit here. I know. Did you hear me? I said I could use this to relax me to go to sleep with my white noise machine. <laughs> That's very true. It gives forth a sound. It 
It's got wires that vibrate and give music What can this thing be that I've found? Seems like a quick little pause in order here to discuss some of these lyrics. Yes. Also, the cool switch between the vocal from Getty. He's showing his versatility, right? He's mm-hmm. got this laid back vocal to play one character in the story. Yeah, and the other one's more like higher, screechy. The priest. Kind of, yeah. That he's the more aggressive mm-hmm. tone that he comes with his vocal. Yeah. Comes with on his vocal. And that's the priest aspect, right? So for me, I think it's pretty self-explanatory is that we're in the future, right? 2112. Mm -hmm. And they found, which sounds like a guitar. Yeah. And this person is so wowed by the beauty of this guitar. What is this? Yeah. It's so amazing. And clearly it's been removed from society that's currently in place. Mm -hmm. And he's, he or she has found it. And now they're playing it and they're like, oh, I need to bring this to, you know, the elders, so to speak. And they bring it to them and they don't like this at all because it's ruining everything that they've built. And taking people back to the ancient civilization. Right. Yeah. So that's what I've gathered so far. Yeah, that's pretty much like what I'm seeing with this too. Yeah. I wanted to make sure I was actually, I thought it was a guitar, but I wasn't sure. I was like, maybe it's something else. So it's really cool because there's obviously so much instrumentation and, in you know, they go to different sections from the music standpoint. But yeah, this I'm section also, is definitely like way more mellow yeah it was right Mm -hmm. but that was kind of the finding the beauty of music yeah so that's what they're showcasing in that 
section there is the beauty like you said the mellowness the relaxing the life aspect and now we're getting into the more aggressive vibe again for the the priests that are yeah exactly so it's it's been funny because we kind of like started in the beginning we felt like we were traveling we were beginning to travel we even said that we felt that from the music like moving yeah Yeah. and now it seems like we've gone ahead to this point in the story and in time where we are in 2112 right 2112 and you know this is currently happening in this moment now yeah yeah which is crazy and i think that although it's happening in sections and it's there's a lot of differences I do find that it's like, it's not something where you can keep a strong groove to, but it all fits together in a mm-hmm. way that makes sense. Yeah. Cause I found with a lot of music that has these different sections, it's almost like it's completely different songs and you're almost like lost a little bit. But sometimes. This is this, I think why the storytelling element in this is important. Yeah. Because that makes it sense. keeps, it brings everything together. And understanding the context like, and of you, the song. And you want to keep going yeah. in the story. Whereas sometimes when you get too many breaks, it can be hard to, you know, stay on, task with where you're going in the song Mm -hmm. also if it's your first time listen so that's what i'm really enjoying is that we're listening to this for the first time and we can appreciate everything because it's almost like it's taking its time telling the story it's not doing too much at all at one time yeah right it's allowing us to take it in and you know that's why it's obviously you know 20 minutes but Mm -hmm. um it's it's really cool it's really well done so far and one of the other things i'll just mention before we get back into it is that you know how difficult it must have been to make this. Oh yeah. 20 there's minutes. There's so much. Yeah, so many moving pieces. Yeah. And to, you know, make it all fit together with this idea and the story and yep. the musicianship and, you know, the electric guitar and the bass work and all, you know, his vocals and all of that. Just it's, it's artistry. Mind, yeah. It's mind blowing to think, you know, how much creativity had to go into this. 100%. So you ready to keep going? Yeah. Let's do it. Things just can't be true. Well, well. Spicy. Somebody's getting fired up. really cool layering between the drums go? <laughs> oh it's another section i guess i don't know what are we on like section five maybe literally i don't know what happened there in the story it's like somebody got fired all the way up and then somebody died Let's go. 
So um, just quickly, I don't want to pause it too long. Really just noticing how much his voice is melodic in telling this story and emphasizing certain words and certain lyrics is really helping the story move along. Yeah, the right? storytelling piece, I yeah. agree. And yep. his, this is the most that we've heard from his vocal. I mean, yeah. obviously this is, I think, the earliest we've heard from them. We've done, you know, the later songs or a live performance. So, you know, I think this is the earliest that we've earliest version we've heard from Getty's vocal mm. and it's you know really stands out to me in this one yeah and I feel like just like how you said how much he's changing it with the pitch and the range due to the carrot like that's it's crazy yeah Is it time to wrap up the story? How is it going to end? Sleep is still in my eyes. The dream is still in my head. I heave a sigh and sadly smile and lie a while in bed. I wish that it might come to pass. Not fade like all my dreams Just think of what my life might be In a world like I have seen Ooh. I don't think I'm the carry on Carry on this cold and empty life <laughs> at the end of the tunnel. I can feel it.
Hmm. Interesting. I'm not really sure how this story finished. I'm confused. Like, did he die? Yeah, I, I'm not really sure. Like I said, I, I the way it was sounding to me, it sounded like we were building up to this end where, like I said, there was going to be light at the end of the tunnel uh, because he was feeling so much despair. Yeah. And he was like, no, I can't take this anymore. And then something was going to happen and the story was going to close in a positive light. But yeah. it didn't sound as such. Maybe yeah. it's left up to interpretation as to well, he uh, said my life blood spills over so i thought he killed himself but that's what i was thinking i could be wrong but i thought it was gonna be like my life blood spills over my spirit is lifted know, declining and then all of a sudden it's like no hold on something happens where because he, he in that dream it sounded more like there was hope in some circumstances yeah. there but then that dream turned into him waking up and Hating his life. Going back to reality, right? Yeah. So I thought it was like he was going to see something in his dream and then it came to mm. fruition, but I not see. the case. Anyways, they did yeah. an outstanding job with Yeah, this that song. was really cool. Very, very, very creative. Outstanding musicianship, like I said. Um, <clears throat> the riff work was fantastic. Yeah. Really, All really. All of the instrumentation was like next yeah, level. Really impressive on the electric guitar on this one. Um, most that I've heard in any of the Rush songs that we've done thus far. Obviously, that's complemented with Getty's vocals that we've already discussed, yeah. which were fantastic. I feel like even the drum work was of like, course, yeah, really, was... like kind of really held the kind of bass line of the song the whole time. Like the, I don't know. It wasn't really a groove because it changed, but I feel like it was just like the foundation. It was the driving the force within yeah, the song. Yeah, it was like there the was foundation of the usage song. Usage of it that was great in terms of the spacing. Yeah. As we alluded to, the transitions were, were really important in this song. Yeah. And I agree that the, the drumming was, you know, really at the forefront. And I said midway through, I was smiling many times throughout this while I listened so to some of the, the drum work because it was so great. Yeah. I was envisioning him like in his own with his headband, like. <laughs> and you know it was cool because there were a lot of different sounds within this even the riff work like i said it didn't sound repetitive it sounded different the tones and the frequencies mm -hmm. that came through on it um, the mixing components that they had the story presentation the way we talked about how you know the uh, usage of the vocal to convey certain meanings of lyrics and the intensity and the passion mm -hmm. and and so like mark was saying i feel like they did you know as good of a job as they could capturing the progressive sound in 100%. this and keeping it really engaging throughout yeah and, the only um, thing i will say is that and maybe this is like on purpose and just because they wanted a really clear definitive you know message that it's stopping one section and move into the other mm -hmm. but one thing i just found kind of weird was that it almost is like when a section stopped it would like go completely silent mm -hmm. and then it would restart Whereas I feel like a lot of the other progressive walk, rock that we've done that has different segments, it almost like dies down and then builds into something new. Yeah. And it, there's always that underlying kind of like, yep. you know, whether it's the drum beat or the, you know, guitar doing a riff, but like this was like, no, it was like complete silence and almost like a new chapter is mm -hmm. starting. So I'm not sure or like, if well, that's something on purpose? Well, or? I think they did do it on purpose because they were doing different sections of the story yeah. that they wanted to break down and highlight. And yeah, almost like a new chapter. Yeah, but I think what they did was they complemented that story with what they were playing because I felt like, as we discussed a little bit, was throughout the story, the music represented what we were hearing from the lyrics and the stage yeah, that we were at. So sure. I think that when you have this process of as you alluded to transitioning without it, you know, completely going to a stop, you may not realize when you're going to the next yeah, section that's fair. as much. Yeah, and true. so they really highlighted which was part, what part was each section. Yeah. And then you can refer to that, you know, to say, this is that part of the yeah. story. Instead of just you assuming that it's different now because the, whether it's the time signature or right. just the entire vibe of the song has changed. Right. Because True. there were other parts that we had done where we thought we were going to, or other songs, I should say, that we had done where we thought we were going to another section, but we weren't sure. Yeah. In this one, we could tell. It's like very clear. Right? And so I thought that was cool. Uh, I also would say that, you know, because it was one side of the album, that it was basically 
how many ever sections that we had five six seven sections in here where it was like five six seven songs yeah, like mini but they songs. all were one song combined yeah. into one on because one it was one story total story yeah right that so on the sense. album it would have been you know seemingly different songs but yeah, it was sense. one so yeah. i really enjoyed this i can see why mark you were a big fan of this one yeah and um he actually said that he would want this played at his funeral <laughs> he did say that <laughs> so that's high praise from mark and yeah. he's an eclectic guy because he's got a lot of different tastes and he sent a lot of suggestions our way so you know this is the top tier for him and and yeah. that's saying a lot and we agree that this was one of the best that we've yeah, ever heard crazy. especially from the create creative side of things i it just was so mind-blowing and yeah. you'd have to listen to this many times i think to really take in the complexity of it for sure and like you said when we pause like just putting all this together all the moving parts is really impressive yeah well hopefully you guys enjoyed our reaction it yeah. was a long one but hopefully you stuck around with us and enjoyed our interpretation of the song hopefully we got it right yeah. first time listens are hard and this one was you know a long one like i said but it was uh, also progressive rock and that can be hard to take in especially for listeners that aren't accustomed to that so yeah, let sure. us know how we did down yeah. below in those comments we appreciate your insights guys let us know if there's something else you want us to see from rush and um, i also think that they mentioned doing this one live so hmm. let us know if there's a great live performance as well yeah, anyways sure. that's it for me anything you want to add sam no it was great two thumbs up for me all right guys we'll see you in our next one thanks for watching guys see you next time